Hello, welcome to Lady Scorpius Zero. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we're going to be reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for July 2020. This will be a three-card general love reading. Take the messages that resonate, leave the rest behind. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Check out the description box below. You can find my website on there, LadyScorpiusTarot.com. You can also check out the products that I create um, that I have on there for sale as well. Um, I do make spiritual candles um, as well as my $10 soy-based candles where you can choose your scent. And I also have my um, goddess oil on there as well as other spiritual oils that I sell. So if you guys are interested in that, please do so. Go on that page. Go on my website. Check out that and see what you're interested in. Let's get straight into it. This is for my Aries. Some of rising to Venus. July 2020. Let's see what's going on in your love life. All right. Universal Spirit, Angels. Sending guys and masses. Give me messages for my Aries. Sending guys and Venus for the month of July 2020. For their love life. I ask for you to give me messages out of love life and clarity for my Aries. Some moon rising and Venus for the for their love life. What messages do you have for my Aries? Sun, moon rising and Venus for the month of July 2020. Okay, you guys had an extra card. <laughs> Just brief, so we're gonna use that as the backup, okay? So, the overall energy we had okay, the flip flop card was just brief. So, a lot of you guys might have a lot of anxiety, a lot of you guys might be showing your shadow self, a lot of fears, a lot of doubts, okay? So, for this month, please focus on, focus on your peace, your inner peace, your inner child. Just breathe, relax, take your time with situations, okay? Even with love, just take your time. I feel like some of you guys are just really, really. You know, it could be focused on too much, focus on um, your relationship and stuff like that. And you could you could be missing the ball when it comes to yourself and your own needs. So just take a moment to breathe and relax and meditate and, you know, work on your inner self, okay? Um, observe the situation for what it is, okay? Okay, so the, the overall energy we're going to use is new vitality, okay? So this is you guys wanting to manifest something with number one. This is you taking action towards something new. This could be a new relationship for you guys. Um, my Aries could be dealing with like maybe something new in your life, maybe a new abundance, a new relationship, a new baby, something that's going to give you some type of new vitality, okay? Something that's going to be beautiful, something creative, okay? But it's definitely when it, um, this is definitely a love reading, so we're going to focus on love. Um, but the first card we have is Confront. Okay, we have lead as the second card, and then we have seek the truth. Okay, so we have 18. Okay, and this is all about confronting your darkest feelings or your inner child, things that you are unsettled with, shadow work, your shadow self. Some of my areas, you guys have some type of issues that stems from a childhood or some type of trust issues or that emotional factors or anything that's in your within your heart chakra that can be trauma from the past or from when you was a child maybe some of you guys might have abandonment issues as well but i'm feeling like whatever you've been going through for like any dark um shadow issues that you have within yourself universal spirit wants you to work on that this month within your relationship and your connection i'm feeling like you need to confront your worst fears your darkest fears confront your inner child and just know that things are going to be okay even when it comes to love i feel like some of you guys are so terrified of fully fully going fully um going full in within a relationship and a connection because of things that you went through in your childhood maybe possibly even with love from the past or past relationships that has been it's been hard for you to kind of focus on what's there in front of you okay and enjoy the moment so it's like some type of new vitality is coming now where you can confront your inner self your inner demons and just see things for what it is um and because, you know, we're 18, 1 plus 8, this is 9. And 9 represents, you know, just moving forward, just taking action towards what you want, almost like that wish fulfillment, almost like that completion, okay? So this is almost like almost like the 9 of Cups, almost like the completion, but just knowing that you have to confront your innermost self in order to see things for what it is and move forward and open up your heart to things that's new. Like, when this is love, so love, you know, relationships. This is you want to take the lead. Maybe you can be dealing with somebody that's the leader. Maybe a new person that you're dealing with or your partner can be a leader. Or this is just you want to take the lead, the lead in love. Uh, maybe Universal Spirit is telling you to just, just breathe and don't try to control too much of the situation. But allow it to unfold naturally, okay? Um, and then we have Seek the Truth. Some of you guys are not seeing the truth of the matter within the connection. Some of you guys are mentally confused. Um, you can be mentally confused. Maybe you can have somebody that's been doing something behind your back. This is the Seven of Swords. So some of you guys are not seeing the things that's being done behind your back. So maybe this is why you're so observing or you are wanting to confront certain things. You could be wanting to confront somebody else because of some sneaky stuff that can be going on behind your back. Um, 
you know, you, you possibly want to take the lead and speak up for how you truly feel. But I feel like the seek the truth is some of you guys are blinded to what's going on around you, okay? And some of you guys are just wanting to seek the truth and see things for what it is. Because with the Seven of Swords, this is seven, but this can be a lot of secrets, backstabbing, betrayals, or whatever the case may be. But we're going to go into it and see exactly what it is. It is just some of you guys, it just can be you not seeing things for what it is in front of you, okay? Um, let's see. Clarify the confront card for my Aries. Some of you guys why well, is the confront card here for my Aries? Some of you guys in the What do they need to confront? And the month of July is up there. Okay. So, we have the Five of Cups. And then we have the Two of Wands in reverse. So, some of you guys are needing to confront your mixed emotions. Some of you guys are feeling emotionally confused. Um, chaotic emotionally. Um, maybe some of you guys are needing to confront emotional pain. Some of you guys are still holding grudges within your partnership or your relationship about some type of pain or heartbreak that your partner could have had you in maybe third party situations that this person could have just not been honest about you know how they truly felt about you or communicated things clearly with you but i feel like with the five of cups being here a lot of you guys were confused emotionally within your connection and so with the two of wands some of you guys are not taking action towards confronting your fears or confronting your emotions okay confronting the things that's still making you upset or that still be on your mind at times okay there's some things that still got you emotionally confused um because you know with the two actions when the two of wands this is taking action towards what you want and moving forward but it's in reverse so some of you guys are just not doing that right now and you're needed to take the lead with that i'm feeling like that's why the lead card is here give me another clarify for oops oh, we had confront so all right, page of swords. This is you guys, pages, sending messages, messages about clarity, getting the clarity that you need, getting some type of information that you need. Okay, confronting something by confronting somebody about something that you found out about. Okay, clarify the confront card. Lots of confront card here for my Aries. So many guys are reading. Okay. Three of Wands, a partnership, okay, taking action, confronting somebody about a partnership, about y'all coming together, about action, how things are moving, okay, um, and investing with this person, um, let's see, some of you guys need to confront things and leave something behind so you can move forward, okay, move forward towards what you want and take the lead, let me never clarify for confront my Aries, some of you guys oh, yeah, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So some of you guys are, and we have the strength. So some of you guys are just trying to be strong and tame your beasts, tame your lust, tame your addictions. Um, maybe some of you guys are need to confront your addictions, confront the things that, that hold that you you could have been holding on to in the past that's, like, addictive, okay? But I just feel like with the strength card, this is you trying to find a strength to tame any addictions or anything that's kind of, like, getting the best of you. Um, some of you guys could be done for Leo. doesn't have to be. could be done for a fire sign or an earth sign. But the Nine of Pentacles, this is you, like, wanting to be single. This is somebody confronting you about being single. Or you're confronting somebody about them being single or moving or acting like they're single, okay? Um, because with the Leo, this is the strength card. Some of you guys are trying to find the strength in, um, you know, confronting yourself about just wanting to be single, okay? I feel like some of you guys are just kind of confused. Emotionally confused on what you want to do. Be single. If you want to continue a connection or confront this person about how you truly feel. About some type of heartbreak. Um, so just take what resonates. Because I'm seeing different messages for different people. Um, I'll clarify the lead. Why the lead card here for my Aries Summer Rising Venus for July 2020 in love life? Clarify the lead card. Why the lead card? What do you need to take the lead on? Okay. Yeah, the two of cups. So some of you guys want to take the lead when it comes to a soulmate connection that you're in. Somebody that you love or got a lot of love for. Um, like you want to take the lead when it comes to a partnerships and moving forward with this person or giving them your love. Why is the four? Um, okay. Yeah, nine of wands. Okay. But some of you guys are knowing that, um, it's some type of obstacles that you got to get over. You got to take the lead. It's some obstacles that you got to get over when it comes to a soulmate, okay? This person could be taking the lead or maybe they're a leader or you're wanting to lead things the right way. But you know that it's something like that they could be working on. Rather, if it's family elsewhere, they could be in a partnership elsewhere or dealing with some other issues they self, okay? Other factors, other people and opinions, okay? They could be trying to, you know, 
carry up they could be carrying other weight like giving attention or putting energy into other people and things or have a lot of baggage on their back okay and some of you guys are wanting to take the lead within this, this situation when it surrounds the soulmate that's in this situation but with the high priestess also you can also know things about this person that you might could be holding close to your chest or not really telling them that you know about that you know this um just yet uh, some of you guys could be seeing a psychic because we have the high priestess here so some of you guys could be looking at tarot readings or get seeing a psychic to see what's going on uh what this person is doing um, but I really feel like with the high priestess, some of you guys, like, could know something about your partnership when it comes to a soulmate, and just could be just holding the, the cards close to your chest and not really speaking on it yet, okay? Not really confronting them about it yet. Alright, clarify the lead. Why is the lead card here? Why is the lead card for my Aries and Moon Rising and Venus for the month of July 2020 in your love life? Clarify the lead card. My Aries and Moon Rising and Venus for the month of, okay? Ten of Swords. Some of you guys are wanting to end a partnership. Some of you guys are just wanting to end things. Some of you guys are just wanting to end a relationship and take the lead and confront this person and just say, you know what, I'm seeing things for what it really is. I got a new volatility. I'm on my own. I'm leaving this partnership, okay? Because I have the Ten of Swords here. So this is like endings for some of you guys feeling ultimate betrayal. Or maybe you know that your partner betrays you or maybe you betrayed your partner. But I'm feeling like somebody needs to confront themselves and seek the truth and just be honest about something needed to end. I want to send the source here for my area, so I'm going to move on to the Venus for July 2020. I'm going to send the source here for my area, so I'm going to move on to the Venus for July 2020. I'm going to send the source, okay? Let's see why the ten of source is here. So, we have the two of pentacles, we have the double card. We have the Queen of Cups, we have the Ten of Wands, the Emperor and the Wands, okay? So, for some of my Aries, some of you guys could be doing for Capricorn, definitely, um, or Water Sign, Earth Sign, um, a Fire Sign, um, or Aries. I definitely see Aries with the Emperor card being here, and we have the Ten of Wands. So, some of you guys, <laughs> I feel like for some of you guys, you need to take the lead and um, understand that somebody's juggling you, okay? Aries, you guys can, you know that somebody's juggling you right now, and they could have addictions to sex or addicted to somebody else, or they can be bonded or soul tied to another situation okay with the the devil card being here this is addictions toxic addictions that's affecting your love life and this is something you need to take the lead in some of you guys are definitely dealing for capricorn that's juggling you and they're juggling between you and another water sign okay scorpio cancer pisces okay so they could be dealing with you and somebody else and just juggling between you guys because they could be addicted to this person sexually or just emotionally or whatever the case may be um also they can be having like addictions for themselves maybe addicted to attention or whatever a soul tie or bond so somebody could be bonded to somebody else um aries um and with the two of wands being here it's like somebody's t trying to take the action t to control their emotions or control their feelings or they can just be trying to control the situation um that you guys are in okay but with the ten of wands being here some of you guys are wanting to end this i feel like somebody is wanting to control the situation and end something or somebody know that they have to control the situation by taking action and end something with somebody because there's a juggle somebody's juggling between two different people okay because we have the two of pentacles this is indecisiveness this is juggling this is options okay this is trying to figure out a balance between two different people addictions two lovers or whatever the case may be but somebody's going to be putting on these wands rather than this is you aries or your partner but somebody's going to end this relationship because it seems like it's too much of a control okay it seems it seem like it's too much of a control but i do want to see why this devil card is here we're going to clarify why is the devil card here for my Aries and Moon Rising and Venus? Okay, wow, popped on out. Okay, so we have the Three of Cups. Okay, the devil card is here because we have the Three of Cups, Four of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody flat out had you in a third party situation, Aries. So you know that your partner or the person that you're dealing with, or this could be your energy, could have been dealing with two people, you and somebody else, or three people. But I do see third party situations, okay? So we have the Three of Cups and the Four of Swords and then the Ten of Pentacles. So somebody's trying to take a break from this partnership. Um, maybe somebody could have reconciled with somebody else or reunited with somebody, went out drinking with somebody. Um, and I feel like you know they could be trying to like work in their mind or trying to figure out how they're going to confront the situation okay how they're going to speak their mind but i'm just feeling like honestly somebody could have been getting peace with somebody else they could have had you in a third party situation and broke your heart and now they can be kind of like isolated from you or this could be you just trying to isolate yourself from them to get some type of mental clarity um to work on yourself maybe trying to get some type of self-healing after this 
finding out about this, okay? Because we have the Ten of Pentacles, so this could be somebody that you live with or have a connection with. Or it could be in a partnership or a marriage with, okay? But I'm feeling like you're wanting to end this, okay? Because you realize this person is just who they are. I feel like when you're seeking the truth, it's like you realize this person is just going to be who they are regardless. You know, and you guys started off like this or they could have had you in a third-party situation before and you could have possibly forgave them and then, boom, they do it again. So, this is like third-party energy. This is like... I don't feel like this is reuniting because we have the Three of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. So this is you guys taking the lead with knowing that this person had you in third party situations. And this is you just need to work on healing yourself and getting more rest and healing your heart. And, you know, getting the clarity that you need to end something. To, and getting the, the, getting the um, fire under your ass, Aries, to move forward and end something, okay? Okay, so the next card we have is the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Six of Cups, and Death, and the Nine of Pentacles are off top, like... You guys know that this person could have made an offer elsewhere with the Ace of Cups and could have been working on something with somebody else from the past. We had the Six of Cups, so this person could have went, your partner could have went back to somebody from the past um, to offer something to them or work on something with them, and you could have found out about it. Or this could be your energy, Aries, wanting to return back to somebody from the past, possibly a water sign um, or another earth sign. Um, I do see Scorpio um, and the Nine of Pentacles, but I just really feel like somebody did something. They started something new elsewhere. Um, and with the Eight of Cups, they was just had you in a lot of mental confusion, emotional confusion, emotional pain, just the same shit that they did. They've been doing the same shit over and over, Aries. It's like this person can never change. And every time you try to give them, you know, an inch, they take a mile. Every time you try to forgive them, they just, they always never, they just seem to disappoint you and do the same stuff. So what I'm seeing with the Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups and Death card, it's like somebody from the past returned back to either you or your partner and they started something new. Somebody definitely found out about it and decided to end it with the Death card. This is something that had to end a transformation that had to happen in order for something new to come into your life and i feel like that's why you have that new mentality vitality now because you're realizing that you know with the nine of cups or mean nine of pentacles you're better off by yourself maybe somebody could have divorced you or ended something with you we're not going to say divorce but end it because i'm seeing like this is like a relationship but somebody could have put it into a relationship with you to be single okay um because somebody from the past came back or they could have realized that you went to somebody from the past to offer something and yeah, it was just like a lot of emotional confusion. So I just feel like somebody's trying to take the lead away from that. Somebody's wanting some type of new start. I'm seeing that for sure. Okay. Clarify the truth. Clarify the secret truth in my areas. All right. Okay, so, so seeking the truth. Somebody's just, some of my areas you guys have sought, seeked out the truth to see things for what it is. And with the four swords, once again, you're just working on your peace, moving away from situations that's not serving you, working on healing yourself, okay? Coming out of third party situations and getting the clarity that you need at the end. Once again, you guys could have ended a situation with a Capricorn or a Taurus or Virgo because this person could have had you in a third party situation with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Three of Cups. Then we have the Six of Cups, somebody from the past and returned to them once again, the Death card. Same cards coming out same cards came right on out somebody from the past returned to either you or your partner and somebody ended it because they found out about it okay they had to move away from the situation okay um and with the nine of pentacles somebody just like okay i just rather be single i'm gonna start something new in my life and get a new vitality in my life by being single i'm making a new offer to myself so i feel like even somebody you guys could have found out about a new offer and you guys just want to focus on being single now because you realize you're better off single. Or your partner could have just, like, kind of made an offer elsewhere, okay? And they could have been acting like they were single and made an, else an offer elsewhere to somebody from the past. But I just feel like you guys are seeing the truth for what it is, okay? You're seeing this person for who they are. Like, they keep moving backwards, backwards and wanting people from the past and giving cups to other people, okay? And I just feel like with you guys, you're just wanting to move forward, okay? And confront the person for who they are or confront yourself and confront this person as well take the lead in your life and just move ahead and see the truth for what it is okay you guys was observing the situation and observing this person for a while now and you just realized that it's time for you just to just breathe and focus on yourself your third eyes is activating so that means your intuition is being sharper this month okay all right so let's go ahead and use one lover's oracle to see what's going on what message the universal spirit has for you for your love life oops all right, give me one lover's oracle for my Aries. Show me why I need this for July 2020. Give me one lover's oracle. I said one. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, two. We have this one, okay? And this is transformation, Aries. So your relationships with, with another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transform, transform all things. So some of you guys are, you know, 
going through a transformation when it comes to a relationship, regardless of if it's deeper in them because you guys are realizing the truth of what it is and trying to mend something or what. I just feel like it's a new vitality because um, you're seeing things for what it is, okay? And love conquers and transfer all things. So if you love a person, you have to love them enough to let them go. If it's meant to be, this person will come back and transform it for the better. But sometimes you just got to work on yourself, okay? And then we have this card right here. Really beautiful. Very, very beautiful image. It says, if you could do anything, what would it be, Aries? The answer dwells within your heart, not your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So, you know, think about what you want in life and what would you be, okay? Um, find the answers within your heart and not your mind. Because sometimes the mind can play tricks on you and it can be confusing. But, you, you know, within the heart, you always know what you want. You, your heart will always guide you in the right place when it comes to your needs, your soul your soul needs, okay? Um, so, a lot of you guys, are um, Universal Spirits is telling you a lot of you guys has happened to your soul, it's happened to your heart, your heart chakra, your soul. Figure out what you want to do in life, what direction you want to be, want to be going into, okay? So, that's what I have for you guys. I really hope these messages resonate. I'm sorry if they were all over the place, but it was a lot of different messages for my areas today. Um, if you guys would like to book a reading and know what to do once again, check me out on LadyScorpioStarot.com. Leave a comment below and a thumbs up if they resonate with you. And I will see you guys next month. Peace. Love y'all.